How's it going? This video is a request by Steelers Boy. Um, he was having a little trouble figuring out how to root his Thunderbolt, so I thought I would make a video tutorial, um, just the steps on how to do it. Now, I don't have an unrooted Thunderbolt right now, <clears throat> and I'm not going to reroute mine because mine's already rooted, but I'll still just show you the process on how to do it uh, step by step. Just hopefully it'll clarify a few things for some people. Um, I have a blog called everythingandroidnow.blogspot.com, okay? <clears throat> and in the description of this video, I'll put a link to it. But your first step is you're going to go to that, okay? And that's what this is here. And it's a blog I just started. I have a lot of, you know, reviews, like this launcher review. And I have a keyboard review there. Um, I did a speed test, you know, just it's basically just a way for me to organize my how-to videos for Android um, and that kind of stuff. I'll put this on there, but so check it out. Um, but you're gonna go there first, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says how to root your Thunderbolt. Okay, and it says here's a link to how to root your Thunderbolt. Click here, and this is how I learned how to do it myself, because um, I I didn't know how to do it at first. I had to learn too, and this is the site that I learned it from, Android Central. Okay and someone made a big write-up on how to do it here so the first step what you're going to do is you're going to download this file here called tbroot.zip okay and it's a fairly large file uh, actually I'm sorry that one's not very large but uh, the next one is it says once that's downloaded open the zip and take out the file that says tbroot and put it on your anywhere on your C drive so put it on your desktop okay and then it says download the following file it's 459 megabytes to your SD card of your phone so plug your phone in um, and choose disk drive on your phone so that you can put files on there and then download this file to your computer okay and put it on your phone's disk drive so if you don't know how to do that you would go to start and go to my computer and then if it doesn't automatically pop up then you would do this and you would find your phone on there um, it would be listed on here um, it would be listed under here and you would open it up and you would just put it on your phone right on there don't put it in, in any file just put it right on your phone okay and then you're gonna rename it because the way when you download it it's named PG05 IMG um, this little dash downgrade dot zip so basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna rename it and get rid of the downgrade part in the little dash so you're just gonna rename it to PG 5 IMG okay and don't put in dot zip it'll automatically do that if you put in dot zip then it'll look like PG 5 IMG dot zip dot zip and your phone won't be able to read it okay so you're gonna put that on your on your phone okay and then it says do the following on your Thunderbolt. If your Thunderbolt is plugged in to your PC, turn it off. Or um, I'm sorry, unplug it. And then if you don't have HTC Sync installed on your computer, which it might have already automatically done um, once you plugged your phone into your computer for the first time, then go to the bottom of this page. There's a little thing right here. It says of this page in blue. Click on that and you can download it and install it. It takes two seconds to do. So you'll do that if you haven't already done that. And if you don't know what that is, then that means it's probably not installed. So just do that. And then once that's done, step three, it says on your HTC Sync, or once your HTC Sync is installed, uh, on your Thunderbolt, hit menu um, from your actual phone. So you're going to unlock it. You're going to hit menu and hit settings. And then you're going to go to applications and then hit development and you'll see USB debugging and make sure that it's checked okay and then once that's checked then plug your phone in um, you, you can have your phone plugged in I guess if you want the whole time alright and select disk drive once you plug your phone in it'll pop up it'll say just charge or you have other options do disk drive so Basically, in that step, you just want to make sure that HTC Sync is installed on your computer, 
and you want to make sure that you went to menu settings applications and clicked debug okay so that it's checked and then plug your phone in and hit disk drive okay now if you don't know what ADB is um, that's okay you don't need to but <laughs> uh, basically the next step is you're going to go into command prompt which if you haven't used that it's okay it's not a big deal and you're going to be copying these different codes here you're gonna copy them right click copy and you're gonna paste it so if you don't know how to get to command prompt um, it you should be able to find it in all programs um, if you've never used it before and you don't know what it is but I have it right here if you can't find it then you can hit run I type in CMD and run and it'll automatically pop up for you here okay so what you're gonna do is you're just going to right click copy and paste it into here and hit enter and you're gonna do that for all of these okay you're just following the instructions now when you do this you don't want to copy the little arrow in front of the code um, you'll see what I mean I don't know if you can see it my webcam is really bad but um, if you follow along with this video you'll see what I mean um, you just so the first code you're gonna do is CD space C colon um, dash TB root and you're gonna copy that and paste it into here now when I've done this before I find it really helpful to make this smaller um, so that you can have both pages open at the same time because really none of these are going to be longer than this or wider than this and do the same with this one um, and you can you know set it up so all you have to do is you know copy here and then paste over here okay and you're gonna go all the way down here and along the way it's gonna say you know so you're gonna do CB or CD C TV root here and then you're gonna do ADB devices and then it's gonna say it says right here it says warning the command prompt window should return a result that blah 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 so it should look like this like the little picture um, that it has here okay and if it doesn't then restart from step one but it should there shouldn't be any reason and then you're gonna copy and do all these codes one by one don't do them all at the same time do them one by one and then again it says uh, it might restart itself that's fine so you're just gonna go through and enter all these in to here and, and hit enter after every single one of them and what it's doing is it's doing stuff on your phone um, you're accessing accessing your phone from the command prompt here on your computer okay and once you do once you get through all of these okay you're gonna the last one you'll do it says ADB reboot bootloader so it's gonna reboot your phone okay and it's gonna reboot your phone you're gonna unplug your phone from your computer and bootloader should be highlighted in blue it'll your screen will look weird um, don't get freaked out but it says bootloader should be highlighted in blue press power to execute so you're gonna hit power and you'll you'll know exactly what I mean if you're doing this along with me okay it might sound confusing right now but if you're doing it along with me it'll make sense okay and then just follow these instructions it says the screen will change from fast boot selected around 10 seconds uh, it'll proceed to the next step and it'll have a bunch of things popping up on your phone and eventually it'll say do you want to start update and press the volume up to say yes and once you do that um, you'll see a little progress bar up here on your phone and it takes a while so don't get freaked out if it you know seems like it's stalling or it's not going anymore but it will um, I've rooted I've this is my third Thunderbolt so I've rooted this my own phone three times um, my girlfriend has a Thunderbolt rooted hers uh, a co-worker has a Thunderbolt rooted his my sister has one rooted hers and I never had any problems if you just follow these instructions step by step you won't have a problem at all okay and then <clears throat> eventually it'll be done doing there it'll say press power to reboot it'll say that on your phone so you'll press power it'll reboot up okay and then it'll ask you to sign in you know to Google account just skip all of that because we're not done rooting your phone yet so hit next skip skip setup next next finish and then hit menu again 
settings, application, development, and check US deb debugging again, like you did as one of your first steps. Then you're going to plug your Thunderbolt into your computer again, um, swipe down and choose uh, disk drive again, not just charge. Okay. Then you're going to open up, you're going to go to start again, my computer, and you're going to open up your Thunderbolt again on your computer, and you're going to delete that file that you put on there that said PG05IMG and you're going to download a new PG05IMG right here okay and you're going to download that it's another big file another 450 megabytes or so um, you can delete your old one off your computer um, if you don't have enough space you don't need it anymore okay so download this one once it's downloaded put it onto your phone so just drag it and drop it right onto your phone and then you're going to go back into this guy again, and you're going to do the same thing as you did before. You're going to copy, and you're going to paste it in here and hit enter, copy, paste, enter, and just follow along on here everything that it says, okay? Um, it's, it seems a lot more difficult than it is, but they have it all figured out. All you have to do is copy and paste. There's no way to screw it up. Um, pay attention to where it says note after you know you run this. It should look like this, and if it doesn't, then you're going to go back to here again and redo everything. Um, there's really no way of screwing up your phone um, while doing this. People are worried about bricking their phones. The only way it, you're going to brick your phone is if you smash it with a hammer. Because if you screw this up while it's going, you can always start over. You can always reload the software. You're not going to mess it up to the point where it's unworkable. Uh, just make sure that when stuff is installing, don't you know pull out the cord from your computer. Um, because then you, you'll have to redo everything. Don't take out the battery while everything's going because that'll mess stuff up, obviously. Just use common sense. You're, you're not going to mess up your phone. Okay? So, like I said, you're going to copy and paste each one of these individually and paste them in here and hit enter. And once you get through all these, the last one will reboot, reboot your phone again. Okay? So, just like we've done a couple times, you're going to unplug your phone um, and it'll say bootload. It says bootloader should be highlighted in blue. Press power button to execute. And you, again, on your phone, it'll be in that weird state um, where it's kind of a white screen, and you know, it's it might freak you out a little bit, but don't worry, everything's fine. Um, and it says after a while, it'll say eventually, do you want to start update? Press volume up to say yes. So you'll hit volume up, and Again, you'll see a progress bar in the upper right hand corner here and let it do its thing. Don't remove the battery. Don't do anything. Don't get freaked out. Try to restart your phone because um, it, it will take a couple minutes to do. Um, five minutes maybe. But even if it takes longer, don't freak out. It, it's just got to do its thing. Once it's done, press the power button to reboot. It'll tell you. It'll say press power to reboot. You'll do it. Um, right here, number eight, it says it might actually power down the device versus reboot. Um, if your screen goes black for more than 30 seconds, then power it on. But that's never happened to me. Like I said, I've rooted six phones, and it's never happened to me. But they put it on there for a reason, so it might. All right? So it's going to reboot your phone. Again, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account and everything. Just skip all of the settings. Um, don't sign into your accounts. There's no reason to. And then once the operating system is all booted up again, then you're going to, again, go Menu, Settings, Applications, and check debugging again. Okay. Now, once that's done, plug your phone back into your computer for a third time and choose disk drive again instead of just charge. And open up your phone on your computer by going to start my computer and delete the PG05IMG from your phone again. You don't want that on your phone once you're done rooting it. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but just make sure you delete it. Okay. Once that's deleted, then again, you're going to go into here. And you're going to copy each of these, right click, paste, hit enter, and enter in all these codes. Um, follow along, make sure that everything is popping up on here um, that it says should be. Okay, So do each one of these. And then this is the last one you'll have to do. It says ABD reboot, and it'll reboot your phone. And you can unplug it, and you're all done. So, and then it says next, download and install super user from the market which is from your, you know, just go to market on your phone and download it. It's called super user. It's just so you uh, 
can do lots of stuff on your phone. Um, pretty simple. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is if you're just watching this video and you're not following along with me. But if you are following along with me, you'll realize it's not hard at all and you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, and that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, if this is still really confusing, I guess I can always reroute my phone. Um, but I don't feel like going through and doing that. But like I said, just follow each of these steps step by step. If you're just looking at this site for the first time, it does look a little overwhelming, but it really isn't as hard as it seems. I'm not great with technology, but I was able to do this my first time without any issues at all. Um, and I'll post some videos on once your phone is rooted, what you can do with it. Um, and this is just for the Thunderbolt. Don't try to do this on a different Android device because um, there's different ways of doing that. If you have a request for a different phone, hit me up and I'll do another phone. I'll show you how to do it. But this is just for the Thunderbolt because I had a request on how to do it. So, um, yeah, any questions, let me know. Thanks. Also, please check out my blog. Um, it's the everythingandroidnow.blogspot.com. I'll have a link in there so that you can get to those instructions. And it's a site that I'm trying to get popular by having lots of these how-to videos like this and also just doing reviews on applications that I think are great and anything related to Android. I have a Thunderbolt myself, so I have a lot of Thunderbolt videos, but I'm also doing a lot of um, just regular Android videos. So I appreciate it if you check it out. If you know anyone else that likes Android, tell them about it. Um, and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, please. Thank you.